Kutaro had dismantled Robodog and reclaimed his cache of moonstones. But the Moonbear King would not stand idly by. As our tale rockets towards a climax, the tyrant is already hatching a plan. A plan called Act Six. Thanks to Kutaro, the shattered white moonstone was coming together piece by piece. Meanwhile, the witch, Esma Potts, who apparently had no qualms about holing up in another person's house, stood before Castle Waxwain's towering portrait of the moon goddess and said, Just you wait! Soon I will be the goddess! And the smile playing on her hideous lips gave way to a chilling laugh. Okay, where are you? Revisibilate yourself! You are my lord at once! How could you fail me? You of all my generals! Your mistakes have cost me the other hand! If he gets the rest of the White Moonstone, and he has Calibras! No, oh, wait! I know who it is! Holy Kudaro's tree! What? Who? Tell me! Pots? The hag from the kitchen? She is at the White Castle, guiding Kudaro from there. That's what she thinks. I'll destroy them both. A bit and a petir. But how, sire? Simple. The clock tower in the land of time. Pick up, you useless pups! What are you waiting for? Yes, sir! Oh, nothing like a spot of Copernican Artemisia to pass the afternoon. Yes, I can't tell whether it's the smooth, herbaceous flavor or the distinctive biscuity nose, but something about it does tickle my fancy. Who calls during tea time? No manners at all. Excuse me. A rabbit and rooster's never-ending tea party? Say again? Moon barking? <gasps> Sire, Lord Master, yes, hello. I have a cue and the chicken taken over the land of time. That clock should have been fixed ages ago. <laughs> My word, Tempest Fugit. Has it been three years? Time is running out, and you were supposed to catch it! <laughs> Never you fear your ISness, it is under control! That's right! We'll have that chronopoly for you in a macro jiffy! Move it! I want that clock to get <gasps> me right now! Oh, la 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 la! <laughs> Late, late, I am late! He looks shady. Let's tail him. Everyone and everything in the land of time was zipping along at a blistering pace. It was almost as if someone had put ants in the paths of time itself. And then all of a sudden the ants were all blotto. Even the buildings lining the street were recombobulating at breakneck speed, their heights changing like rippling waves. The sole exception was tea time. Oh, no, no, no. I must have dodged you later. Late, late, late. Hold it, Buster. You work for the Moonbear King. Yes! Stop distracting me, or he'll have my head! Well, that proves it! Come on! He's got a piece of the moonstone! Oh, 
I want to suck your blood! Yes! This is exactly the reaction I desperately wanted! <laughs> Conquer the land of time, hostess! Oh no! Made it! Oh, look out! <laughs> Woo! Safe! Even the chimney sweeping seemed to be chronologically impaired. What a damage to the land of time! What should have been running like clockwork had been reduced to running in circles. The clock! I must fix the clock! The clock! I must fix the clock! Jump! Again! Uh-oh! We're out of buildings! Who needs rooftops when you have playing cards? I always want to enjoy a fragrant tea amidst all this soot. First world problems, bunny man. Popular demand, I shall traverse these precarious cards atop a unicycle. An enormous chimney loomed before, and a deluxe sized chimney brush to match. Glad this isn't my house. Kudaro's search for General Rabbit had turned into a wild hopscotch across the land of time's rooftops. The flow of time has a pronounced effect on any city's skyline as the past is dismantled, the present constructed, and the future imagined. <laughs> Dreams and aspirations become the girders upon which life is built and rebuilt in the name of progress. It just usually happens a lot slower. The land of time was also a sky gazer's paradise. You see, like tea time, star watching was a refined way to pass the hours. Like everything else around here, the shooting stars weren't exactly shooting straight. They'd lance across the sky one moment, only to stop dead in their tracks the next. Of course, it made it much easier to wish upon them. <laughs> you could probably sneak in multiple wishes. The locals were true romantics peering through their telescopes and trying to count the stars as they blinked by, which took patience with all this chimney smoke in the way. Oh, he loved my head. 
paid for this. <laughs> yes, yes, sure as rabbit feet out, ducky. Like everything else around here, the layout of a house changes to its appropriate form with the passage of time. The larger the number of your family, the greater the number of rooms in your house. Then, of course, you no longer need the rooms if you no longer have your family. The house is too big. Without the family... What... What was wrong with me? What happened to you? Actually, I don't really want to hear that. they watched, a calendar devised, and the stars slid around to make it all Hey! Who are you guys? Space aliens! Kutaro has been abducted by Greys! On the 8th of July, 1947, a single flying saucer crashed down in Roswell, New Mexico. The U.S. military recovered extraterrestrial beings known as Greys from the crash site and performed autopsies. And that was just the first close encounter. Beginning in the 1960s, people began reporting sightings, abductions, cattle mutilations, and other strange phenomena, all connected to the Greys. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we get to see this strange and fascinating species firsthand. <laughs> oh, please! The Greys are just one big hoax. There's like zero scientific evidence. You might as well call them purples or bird siennas. <laughs> Look, the only places that support life are the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. Fact. Gravity magnetational temporal spatial anomaly. Yes, uh, this all seems correct. And right on schedule. Un, deux, trois, et voilà! Whoa! Into the wormhole and on to the Alcyon past. was a bit funny in here, but General Rabbit's highway of playing cards let him quite literally pass the hours. Hey, why are you stalking me? Don't play dumb. We're gonna beat you up and take back your Mr. Shark. Follow that rabbit! I thought diamonds were a girl's best friend. 
fair weather friend, maybe. The game would not stop until Kutaro cut the deck. Bit by bit, sand drained into the hourglass. It was the future slipping away, piling up to form the past. Waiting is unfortunately part of the game, but a good card shark uses that time to plan his next move. What? You again? I am far too busy for this harassment. I have history to rewind, a land to conquer. Excusez-moi. Hey, get back here! Face Kataro fair and square! soon encountered everyone's favorite card trick, the Buzzsaw. That's not a card trick! Kutaro laid all his cards on the table. This was it. Fine hat trick for Kutano. This is our stop. before I can fix that blasted clock. The ace trumps all, especially when it's five aces of spades. That's cheating! Kutaro hopped over the questionable hand and scrambled ever higher. Stop 
trying to peek backstage. That rope looks ready to snap. Was saving this. Was it that something? Oh, it was something. And now the flying daggers. Sleep again. Shiver me timbers when you dance like that. Maybe we oh. all have. Cut her off, find those last pieces. I'll fat her, sign you suffer, and make room 